Hi, this is Johan Sapan Bhartia and today we have with us Pati Dikarmansi, General Manager of Continuous Delivery Foundation. Pati, it's great to have you on the show. Thank you very much for having me, Swapnil. Happy to be here. Uh, let's talk about the foundation of Continuous Delivery Foundation because uh, Continuous Delivery, if you look in old days, not old, in today's world, nothing is old, right? Everything is new. Uh, but when we do look at CI CD pipelines, they were a lot of patchwork. And then a lot of open source projects uh, start to emerge. Uh, Netflix, they have you know, uh, their projects and Spinnaker came and there are so many other projects. Uh, so uh, sometimes when I talk to folks, some, some folks try to put CI CD together. Sometimes folks to, uh, like to separate them. So there are so many things to talk about today, uh, which also means that it's, you know, it's, it's once again a lot of patchwork there. So let's start with the basics of the foundation. What led to the creation of the foundation and what do you folks actually do there? Uh, Continuous Data Foundation uh, was established around 2019 to provide a neutral home for uh, continuous integration and continuous delivery pro uh, projects open source projects and the uh, uh, purpose of Continuous Delivery Foundation is to uh, improve the world's ability to uh, you know, achieve continuous delivery. And as you mentioned, there are uh, great projects within the ecosystem, both within Continuous Delivery Foundation and other communities. And those technologies help organizations to bring their uh, software with speed, security and sustainability to their end users. So Continuous Delivery Foundation aims to uh, make sure that we have this collaboration across various projects happening to push the domain forward. How do you look at it, you know, when we talk about CI and CD, do you look at the, the because the name of the foundation continues delivery. So how do you look at things uh, so that we do know that what you folks are doing there? Uh, continuous delivery is a critical software de development practice and continuous integration and continuous deployment could be considered as uh, enabling practice under continuous delivery. And continuous integration uh, sits closer to development teams and they uh, continuous integration practice allow developers to uh, bring their latest changes and commits into main uh, branch, software development branch, uh, in a uh, safe, secure, and quality manner. And uh, if you look at uh, the continuous delivery paradigm and practice, these different you know, uh, activities within under continuous delivery they complement each other. Continuous integration is the most basic activity which lets developers to, you know, make their, you know, uh, contributions in a uh, much, uh, you know, faster manner, while continuous delivery allows organizations to make sure what is on main branch, development branch, is always in a releasable state. And this topic has various aspects, technological aspects, as well as social aspects, because the continuous delivery is actually related with business processes as well. So these all need to be taken into consideration in a holistic manner. And that is what we are uh, aiming to achieve within Continuous Delivery Foundation. If you look at just the CD Foundation, what are some of the main challenges that you're seeing based on what's again, the trends that are there in the market? Uh, I think like community is at the core of Continuous Delivery Foundation. So the aspect I mentioned, bringing people together, that is one of the challenges. And the other challenge is related to uh, ecosystem and the continuous integration, continuous delivery domain. Because when you look at the latest conversations around different topics such as cloud native and software supply chain, sometimes the continuous integration and continuous delivery topics uh, are drawn in you know too many conversations, and that indirectly impacts continuous delivery foundation as well. Because continuous integration and continuous delivery is a key piece in all these different things for cloud native, for software supply chain, and one of the challenges we have in front of us for Continuous Delivery Foundation is to make the foundation more visible, make it better positioned within across the ecosystem because continuous integration is not specific cloud native or you know uh, software supply chain. It is a common concern among different you know domains. So visibility positioning. Uh, this is a very interesting point that you brought in there that it's not just about. Uh... Cloud, but the fact is that yes, we are moving more and more towards cloud. But the fact is also that because of digital transformation, uh, almost every company is today becoming a software company, and not every aspect of software is done on the cloud. So, so talk about the importance of CD in today's modern world, where we are moving towards software-driven world. Yes, that is a really great question. Thanks for that. 
because uh, when you uh, look at uh, the you know open source communities or the latest trends and technologies, cloud native is one of the top in the list. But as you highlighted, not all the organizations are on cloud native. For example, automotive industry or telecom industry, they're embedded products or uh, some organizations talking about continuous delivery for databases or continuous delivery for mainframes. So continuous integration and continuous delivery is a common concern regardless of the technologies, regardless of the industry. And that makes it especially critical that we as you know, practitioners within CICD ecosystem take a broader look at the continuous integration and continuous de delivery uh, domain and make sure that we address the use case coming from all these different types of industries and uh, not just focus on a specific industry. Because as you highlighted again, all the industries are becoming uh, software driven and we have to enable those industries and organizations to make sure they can push the latest and greatest features service their end users with speed seekers and in a sustainable manner. That is key. We have to enable. One more thing that is becoming very uh important in today's uh, world is security and CD, you know, once again, it's the pipeline there. So talk about the role that uh, CD plays there in ensuring having a better security posture. Yes, uh, software supply chain and supply chain security has become pretty critical with the latest instance, you know, uh, and that has been, you know, uh, discussed quite heavily the last couple of years under different names, their secops and so on. Now, it is great that many different organizations, regulators, government agencies, they are focusing on this topic. And that is important to increase the awareness around security challenges we have. And as you know, this shift left approach to pushing these type of checks closer to developers themselves will improve the state of our the security of our supply chain a lot because if you catch those issues closer to it, their source you have much easier way to fix them much cheaper way to fix them and you don't have any impacts on end users and all this bringing code from source control management system from development teams into end users that goes through a content zero pipeline that's why continuous delivery pipelines, I consider them as the backbone of software supply chain. And without us putting focus on continuous delivery pipelines, we may have big issues when we try to address even bigger challenges within our software supply chain. I'm curious that, you know, is it really possible that, you know, to have some kind of interoperability among CI and CD tools? Plus, what kind of response you receive from the industry or ecosystem when you announce CD events? I think we have really great examples from within other communities. For example, if you look at open telemetry, that brought some common approach to how the data can be shared. And CD events approach is pretty similar to the approach taken by, by open telemetry community. And the key thing here is adoption. And you can have a specification in place which could have stable version, but if that is not adopted by the open source communities, then that will become reality. But if we look at what's happening within Contest Delivery Foundation and within Contest Delivery Events Project, CD Events Project, you see many different projects, contributors from many different projects are taking active part on it. For example, Jenkins, Tecton, Captain, Knative contributors are taking part in the project. And one of the first things the project did was to bring up a proof of concept to show that this is actually achievable. So instead of just focusing on a specification on a markdown document, they brought up different tools and made them talk to each other using their you know, draft specification. So that these two aspects, an example coming from open telemetry community, as well as the engagement from the other communities within CD events project, gives me hope that we can actually achieve interoperability within CI CD ecosystem. What kind of vision, what kind of goal you have for the CD Foundation, where do you see? You did uh, share some, you know, that you know there is a place for CD Foundation is very critical. But uh, what kind of vision you have? Again, the communities are the most critical in the puzzle because you can have ideas, you can have vision, you can have strategy. But if those ideas, if those, you know, your vision is not realized, then that stays 
on paper, unfortunately. And that's why communities are key in the puzzle. And as I mentioned, one of the first things we need to address within our foundation is to make sure that our community is thriving and make sure that we are getting even more contributors to our community and we make sure we can sustain our community. That is personally my top priority. In addition to that, there are different stakeholders, projects, participating organizations. We have to make sure that their use cases, their challenges are discussed and addressed. So that is another piece in the puzzle because these things should go hand in hand. If we don't bring different opinions, different use cases into in front of our communities, then we may be doing things that may not be relevant or useful to our users. So that is the other thing. And innovation, again, I think you highlighted one point there when you asked if we think a consolidation will happen within the CICD ecosystem. And that is key. And instead of us doing same things across different communities, we should make sure that we put our efforts together and innovate within the ecosystem. One of the topics we discussed that already, interoperability, this is a challenge we need to solve. And that can only be achieved by us coming together. And another challenge is, okay, we have these different abstraction layers that helps organizations, you know, more to cloud native, but things are getting complicated as well and making developers' lives difficult. Like if they want to create a content zero pipeline, then they shouldn't be writing thousands of lives of YAML files, for example. They should be, you know, looking at how they can make valuable contributions to the business rather than spending their time on, you know, writing, duplicating YAML files. And that could be another thing we as foundation push forward. Like, okay, now we solve the problems in terms of let's speculate a bit about future. What is next? Okay, how we can make sure we can increase developer efficiency, productivity, and experience? Because continuous delivery is key in this. Because if developers are happy when they send their code and if that code ends up in production as fast and secure as possible, then they can move on to the next step there at their hand and innovate. And that could be another thing we need to put a force around. How we can give developers better ways to create and manage their continuous delivery pipelines. So again, that is the technology technology aspects for continuous delivery foundation. We have community aspects, we have and user participation organization aspects, and we have technology aspects. If you could put these three different aspects together and take a you know, collaborative approach to these things, I think that will bring success to Content Zero Foundation and broader ecosystem. Fatih, thank you so much for taking time out today and uh, talk not only about the CD Foundation, but you also shared a much bigger picture that we were not even expecting, that is the 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 way we develop and deploy software is not just one way of doing this, not one process. There are a lot of companies who are still not on the cloud bandwagon and software develop. We are moving towards a software driven world. So the importance that is there of continuous delivery. So thank for sharing uh, those insights and I would love to have you back on the show. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me. It's much appreciated.